Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, yesterday again I have shared few of the interview questions that has been asked to me for the data analyst profile during the tableau round. So uh, first of all, I just want to really apologize for the delay in the answer video. I was quite busy. Uh, so the very first question is what is the difference between join and blending? Well, join everyone knows that it works only with the data from the same source or you can say that uh, data from only one source. Whereas if we talk about blending, it allows a combination of data from different sources to be linked. Uh, so for an instance, consider let's say we have to combine the data. One, um, the data uh, is from Excel sheet and the another data is from SQL database then obviously we have to choose blending as an option to combine two types of data okay so the next question is blending is which join by default by default it's basically a left join next question is let's say we have two measures and the first one is age and next is balance and there are a number of records that are automatically generated. There are random number of ages means uh, it is a continuous uh, measure we can say that but we want to see the age distribution. So how we can do that? So it's very simple here what we can do. Uh, here we can create bins. So uh, let me just give you an example for this. So let's say uh, here yeah here you can see here there is a age um, so age you can see here it is a continuous it is a continuous measure actually so there are random number of values many values but we now we want to see the distribution so what we can do we can just click here and we can create the bins and here uh, you can give size accordingly I'm going to give 20 instead of 4.2 so fine uh, so we have created uh, age distribution here with the help of bins and you can see here here is the age dis distribution so the next question is in the same above asked question what will be the age distribution become so they want to know what it will become so now if we come back here so here if we see the age uh, age column here is continuous actually you can see the green sign here and it is a measure but now when we um, created a distribution for it then it will become a dimension uh, i hope you get your answer so the very next question is let's say we have four dimensions id industry name city and date and there are measures like expenses revenue and growth so now they are saying how we can make a set of industry whose revenue is more than 1 million so what we can do we can just create a set here that is very simple but thing we need to take care here is we uh, are not going to create set as per the industry name because they are asking how we can make set of industry whose revenue is more than 1 million but remember one thing guys industry names could be similar there can be you know two or more than two industries with the same name so what we can do we can create set according to the id uh, so for an instance, I don't have that data set, but uh, I'll just give you an example if we select name the names could be similar So what we can do we can just select the ID Then we can select create and then set and here you can provide your condition now condition We want revenue here. I don't have any revenue, you know column So I am just going to select anything I want to select or email ID so it should be like in case I want, um, you know, revenue is uh, greater than 1 million. So I can provide the values or I can provide here the 1 million number and click OK. So it will pro uh, create a set. Now in the same asked above question, now they want to create combined set where uh, it should match two conditions. The first condition is revenue should be greater than 10 million and expenses should be less than 5 million. So how we can do that we can use. It's very simple we can create a combined set here. So we can combine two sets to compare the members. So you can easily search on internet how we can create combined sets. It's very simple after creating two sets. So 
the last question is from the same six question so we know that we can create this thing by combining sets so we can create sorry combined sets so after combined sets there are certain options you have to choose among that option or they are uh, now the question is how many options you have first part is how many options so basically there are three options uh, when you basically combine sets, you create a new set containing either you can choose all members in the both sets. Uh, in that case, it will contain all the members from both the sets. So the second option you have is shared member in both the sets. In that case, you it will only contain the member that exists in both the sets. And the last one is accept shared members means obviously that uh, that are existing in both. Uh, apart from that. All other members just like uh, you can say that just like left inner you know uh, kind of join so uh, now uh, options I have already told you there are mainly three options all members in both sets shared members or accept shared members now the next question is which one you will select so if you ask me because we know that we want revenue should be greater than and expenses less than fun 5 million so there is an and condition so it means we will choose shared member in both the sets so basically that combined set we will choose which contains members that exist in both the sets because there is an and condition so this is all about the answers uh, i hope you like the video and please like the video do share your comment in the comment section if you have any doubt any query i will try to solve it out and please subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet thank you so much bye bye